Guys, we have a major problem. Did you know that MD Fish Tanks came all the way from the UK to scape a tank for us? Unfortunately, there is a major issue with it. Hey, what's up guys? Are you hungry? When I walked in to feed these guys this morning, this is what I found. This is terrible, guys. If you notice, the driftwood broke away from its contact points on the rocks that was holding it down. Because we did this with dry wood, this wood is very, very buoyant, and unfortunately, we just did not have enough contact points for it, and now the aquascape is destroyed. We're gonna, let's get MD on the phone and see what we do about this. Love you, John. <laughs> All right, well, I really need your help. Um, look, I left you in charge. I gave you a simple set of instructions to follow. Are all the fish dead? Actually, none of the fish are dead. The fish have survived. Oh, good, good. Yes. Okay, we're good then. We're fine. But the aquascape you left me with, that's a different story. Okay. What, okay, what's wrong? All right, you ready? Yeah. Let me, let me flip this around. And... Okay, okay. Um... Is this a maintenance thing or something? What have no, you done? No, I just I think that the glue points just broke loose and all the driftwood floated and now it's just at the top of the tank. Okay, okay, right. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, nothing. That happens. You can fix that easily. You've got two options, actually. You can drain the whole tank down and, like, re-stick re it all. Or you can just find rocks that are similar to the ones we've used already and just like lodge it in key points where it holds it down because it's going to be pretty waterlogged now. It's not going to be like filling it up from scratch. Um, they're obviously still quite buoyant though, which is surprising. I thought they would sink really easily to be honest, but guess not. No. Yeah. The, the buoyancy of wood is much higher here in the U S than it is in the UK. Apparently. It does appear to be yeah. so much the, air in the wood. It, you know? Yes. <laughs> so, well, then overall, the rec I mean, would you recommend then just using the rocks? Would that be the easiest? Yeah, use the rocks, use the rocks, because everything else is looking good, so you might as well just hold it down. And to be honest, as long as they're not too obvious, like right in your face, they'll look good as well anyway. So yeah. you've got enough plants in there, so it's all going to look good anyway. Well, let me... That's what I would do. All right, so what I'm going to do then is um, if you will give me a little bit, I'm going to go find some rocks, I'm going to weigh this stuff down, and then I'm going to call you back and get your get your thoughts. Okay, I will sit here until that's done. That, because, you know, I've got nothing else to do, have I? No, well, you don't, and that's good. That's fine. I mean, that's that's exactly <laughs> what's expected. I mean, you wait for my call. <laughs> okay, I will. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you soon. Well, MD knows what he's talking about, so we're gonna trust what he has to say. So let's get out and find some more of these river rocks to try to fix this aquascape today. Okay, we got our rocks as MD suggested, so let's see if we can get this aquascape back to where it was when he left us. Well, we're gonna start on this side with this main piece of driftwood first. And the reason is, is because this one was kind of underneath, the other one was on top. So we wanna go ahead and get this one set first. So what we're gonna try to do is line up our contact point that was in this driftwood to start. So now that I have this sitting here, I wanna go ahead and put a rock right on top of this piece of driftwood. And we're just gonna temporarily sit this here just to hold it in place while we get the other piece set and then figure out how we're going to secure this down where it actually looks decent. Now that we have it set, we're gonna go ahead and move to the other side and see if we can get this one done. Oh, 
All right, guys. Well, we got this thing put back. So essentially what we've done, we have a rock sitting here now. I've moved some of the plants around to kind of make the rock look a little more natural. It's holding this side of the driftwood down. The driftwood comes across here. And then back here, this piece of driftwood is actually sitting on the back. And this rock is holding both of them down. I need to figure out how I'm going to fix this permanently. But I do want to get MD's feedback on what this looks like and just kind of see what he would do in this situation. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, as promised, but I haven't moved. That's good. Hey, you are actually in the same exact spot as when I left you. Not to this say... This is the best. I've got, I've got side lighting. Right. You know, and I'm away from all the kids and stuff. Otherwise, you just all you'd hear is screaming. It's a Saturday and everyone's going nuts. Well, <laughs> perfect. All right, so take a look. Did you fix it? Did yeah, fix I did. It? Here it is. So as you can see okay. here... Yeah, I just put this rock and just put some plants around it to hold that end down. The only thing, I, this one rock right here that I put on this big piece of driftwood, it's kind of odd, but maybe I can put some plants around it or something, but I don't know. What do you think? No, I don't want about it. No, I think it looks like it could have fallen in, like, and just stayed there. Rocks look good anyway. Plants look good. Don't overthink it. As long as it looks decent to your eye, then it's good. All right, perfect. Well, as always, Mr. MD, I appreciate the help. Just don't. Just don't break it again. Please. I won't. I, I won't. And if I do, then I'll bring you back to fix it. Well, exactly. The next time we break it is because we're going to be doing a new one. So, yeah, right. just keep it growing. Keep adding that leaf zone and uh, feed the fish, obviously. <laughs> and it'll be brilliant. That's what I'll do. All okay. right. Well, thanks for your call. All Anything right. else within reason, please call. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll talk to you later. Well, with that, this thing is back to normal then. Disaster diverted. I need to go ahead and feed these guys. So let's go ahead and get these guys fed for a second. So what we're going to feed guys is just some frozen cubes of mysis shrimp. And that's just like a little treat for them. So let's go ahead and dip this into the water. Get some of this warm water in here. And these will actually defrost and we'll put those in here in just a moment. But overall, the plant growth looks really good. So what we have over here are some of these little crypts. And these are growing in fantastic back here. Completely filling in. In this side of the tank and then back in the corner there we have some Ludwigia and this little pig's in the way because he wants some food as well as these trident ferns coming up here to the front we have some more of the little crypts and ferns more crypts and ferns and uh, the bulbitis and the Anubius barteri we have some Rotala rotundifolia back there as well as some Elodia or Anacris as we call it and then a bunch more plants over here a bunch of bulbitis and uh, there's another fern that's floating over there that we need to find a spot for, which we will. In fact, let's put that right there. So I don't know exactly where this fern came from, but there's an empty spot between these two rocks right here, and it'll look perfect right there. With that, guys, everything looks really, really good in here. All the angelfish are doing really well. There are four out currently. The fifth one is right there behind the background. He seems to constantly stay behind the background for some reason. I don't know why, but we're going to have to get some sort of solution in place for that to keep him out from behind the background. But all five angelfish are doing just perfect. I am not going to sit here and count all of the neons, but the neons are doing good. I haven't seen any more deaths of the neons. When we initially put them in here, after about two or three days, there were five or six of them uh, that did not make it. But overall, they still look good. You have spotted quarries and there's one right there swimming around those are all looking good we have a bunch of otosynclus catfish there's one right there on the driftwood and then of course a bunch of bristlenose plecos which we're not going to see those because the light's on and they're hiding at this point you know it does suck that the that the driftwood actually look at that there's a bristlenose pleco I'm gonna circle it on the screen guys or put an arrow to it, but it's right there on the bottom side of that driftwood already. Overall, it does suck that the driftwood lifted up, but I mean, sometimes those kinds of things happen and well, we just have to do something to fix it. And we've done that to fix it now. And you know, it is what it is, but the scape still looks amazing. The plant growth is amazing. Everything looks great in here. So let's go ahead and feed these guys. See if this mice and shrimp is nice and defrosted, which it is. So we're gonna go ahead and pour this in here. And those guys are going to go crazy for this stuff.
Well, hopefully you went on to enjoy this video and you appreciate just as much as I do the fact that this scape is not completely destroyed and that we were able to somewhat fix it. Just know that sometimes these things happen no matter how much glue you use. And, well, we've made do. We're going to figure out a permanent solution for this and you'll see that in an upcoming video at some point. But with that, guys, thank you so much for coming along and watching what we've done here. And if you haven't followed us on Instagram or Facebook, links to both are down below. Thanks again to MD fish tanks for setting this tank up for us and helping us get this thing back on track and hey with that we will see you next time